Hello and welcome. So today uh, we are going to look into how do we connect Catalon Studio with MySQL database. Now, a prerequisite for this uh, process is we must be having a database and uh, we must be having the credentials to connect to the database. Now, just in case you do not have a database or you do not have the details to connect to a database, uh, you can go on my website that is automationstepbystep.com and here uh, you can go to the section on databases and it is here. So here I have two videos. One uh, is to connect or uh, to create an online MySQL database free. So you can see this one, create free MySQL database online. And then we have this video, create free database on AWS. So you can create a free database by looking at any of these videos and then you will have the details of the database. I will also add the, the links to these videos in the description of the video. So the first step here is, I have written down these steps to save some time. So we have to download my connector jar from Maven repository or anywhere you can get this jar from, you can get this jar file and then add to Catalon Studio. So let me first open my Catalon Studio and here I will go to project and go to settings. And here we have got a library management section. Here I have to add the jar file. So to get this jar file, you can go to mavenrepository.com. So let me show you if you go to, if you search for Maven repository, you will go to this mvnrepository.com. And here you can search for uh, MySQL connector Java. And you can go here and you can select the version. I will go with the latest version. And then here we have a jar file. So you can click this and it will download the jar file. I will cancel this as I already have this downloaded and I will go to my downloads folder and I have this jar file added, jar file downloaded here. And this is what I will add in my Catalon Studio. So this is step number two. You go to the project settings and go to library management and add this jar file. So I will go here and click on add and add this here and I will say apply and close. So now next step is step number three. We have to again go to project settings and go to the database and add the details of the database to connect. So I will go to project and go to settings and I will go to database here. So this is database. And here we have to add the credentials. So I will select secure user and password and I will give the username password and then I will give the connection URL. Now in our case, we have got the MySQL database. So I will show you all these details. Uh, so in this videos, I have one video to create MySQL database online. And for that, you can use these details. And if you watch that video, you will get all these details, your username, password, uh, JDBC driver, you can leave empty and the connection URL. And if you are using AWS DB, these are the details. So I will give this, this user here. And I will give this password. And JDBC driver, you can leave empty. And this is the connection URL. So the connection URL is, if I see here, it starts with JDBC, MySQL. You can also see the example here. And then you, get, you have to give your host name and then the port name and then the DB name here. So this is how you give the details. And then I will say test connection. And you can see the connection is successful and you can say apply and close. Now this database is set up at a global level for this project at a project level. So you can connect to this database from anywhere. Now in Catalon Studio, there are multiple uh, ways or multiple places where you can use databases like to create a, a data, a test data, or when you create a checkpoint or whenever you want to create a custom keyword, you can use all this. So let me go to the, uh, data files here and I will create a new test data and I will call this as data one. And here 
I will select the type as database data and I will say okay. And now here we have got a SQL query. Now, if I click on edit query here, if you want to use the global database that we have set up in the last step, you can just click on this and then give your SQL query. So I know in my database, uh, there is a table called uh, employee. I can say employee. I think it is employee or students. I will just check it and I will say, okay. And let me check. So it, this does not exist. Let me edit the query. I think it is students and I will say, okay. And yes, you can see it has got the details here and this I can use in any of my uh, test cases as a test data. Now I will again create a new test data and I will call this as data two. And again, I will take it from database and I will say, okay. Now here I will click on edit. Now let us say if I want to connect to a different database, now I will give the database details here. So let me try to connect to my admin database, uh, the AWS database. And again, you can watch this video to see how I created the database. So I will give the username, which is admin. I will give the password and then I will give the connection URL. Now in this case, uh, here, the host name, this you will get from your AWS account. So if I show you in my AWS, uh, this is my database. And here, this is the endpoint, which I have used as the host name. So this I have used here and I will say test connection. This is also successful. And I think the table I have created here is employees. So I'll just let's start from, uh, I think it is employee. Let me check. I will say, okay. And yes, I'm getting the details here. So this is how you can connect to database in Catalon Studio. I hope this was very useful for you. Thank you for watching and never stop learning.